Welcome to Kyle's Talk. This is the weekly show that we're going to discuss uh, over the past week, fantasy football and the Two for the Money League. Uh, with me this evening is none other than the commissioner himself, Henry Falala. He'll be my co-host this evening. Henry, welcome to the show. It's great to have you on. It's good to be here. Good. I'm glad you're here. So, how'd you think your team did this week? Well, pretty awful. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we still have two guys going tonight, and Alfred Morris and Antonio Gates. And I believe they'll get the combined 25 points to uh, beat Revis Island. Yeah. Big Dan Hawkins. Revis Island. Dan Hawkins. Your team looks like shit this season. You got to do something about that. Looks like shit. I agree. It does. It Talking like about another, it, maybe it does. But I'll tell you one team that I think looks really good, that's having a huge bounce back. Yeah, I believe me. I know it's only week one, but Eric Pelquin, I think it's Foster Kids, their name. Yeah. Time for a name change. You've always been delayed with that. But for the most no, part, the team looks pretty team good. Acres. He was Team Acres. Team Acres, that was previous years now. Yeah. Well, he does donate to Foster Children. Well, that's very generous of him. Yes, I love so as well. But uh, definitely time for a new team name. You got a great looking team. You got Peyton Manning, and I believe he had Thomas on his team as well, going. He had those combo points. My partner and I looked at that beforehand, and he stole them right from us. Speaking of my partner, you know, great guy that he is, he actually showed up for the show. Brian Lang, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's bring him on into the show. Brian, come on down. Oh, a round of applause. Brian, no, no, no. it's great to have you, brother. Thank you, thank you for attending the show. I appreciate you showing Folks up. Folks at home, how's everything going? Brought you a gift, partner. Wow, that's a partnership right yeah. there. This is this is really generous of you. You mind if I open it up uh, on here? Oh, go right ahead. Go right, right ahead. Wait, uh, what, what did you get me here? What did you get me here, champ? Huh? M&B Landscaping, the best in Rhode Island. You need your grass cut. You see these guys. This is class on grass. <laughs> Brian, thanks for coming to the show. Oh, great win this week. You seem like it's a great pleasure having that. You just tossed it to the wall. Man. No, I didn't toss it to the wall. Maybe like... Speaking of tossing things to the wall, I'm pretty sure you're going to toss your partner, Joe D, to the wolves. Just because people like to speak, nobody, there was no dissension in the ranks of the work of all us. But now we are now men at work, and uh, we have a great future ahead of us. So you think, you, you only projected to put up 80 points. Wow. As Bryant was injured last yikes. night. Yikes. Yeah, yikes. 80. 80 is not good. Wow. We have 134, and our players have all played. Granted, you got Team Socks, and ours is in class on grass. I think, class. I think you're lucky that you only play this once this year. Well, we're in a different division. Yeah, that's why we don't play each other. Right. Once. Brian, let's let's hear some of your thoughts how how the week turned out for us. Our or around team, the league. Our team, I thought, went very well. Uh, as far as the other teams go, very respectable. A couple decisions I would have made, I would have sat a few plays that other people played. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not going to give any of my exclusive uh, information out. Totally but right. Just, you guys should uh, double check those rosters and just take, take a look at the teams them. that they're playing. I know this isn't your first rodeo, but. Take some time. Yeah, take some time. exactly. Take some time. Just because they're a playmaker. Doesn't mean they should belong in that starting lineup. You know, not to week one. Not to uh, get off the subject in talking about team names. I mean, I believe you guys have a new team name. We do. Yeah. We do. So the Sunday Playmakers, a little corny. I don't know. What do you think? I just, I just think we got a lot of heat last year. I thought it was actually a pretty good name, but a lot of people were giving us heat last right. year about right. changing right. it. Regardless, we could have so we, we, we could have been shit on a shingle and we would have been good with it. Yeah. They do also play football on Mondays and right. Thursdays now. Yes. I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah. Well, we did know that. Yeah. 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 This, well, just, all we need is all we need is one day to solidify the win. Uh, we don't need, we don't need the other two. You just yeah. need a Sunday. Yeah, basically. Basically, we just need a Sunday. But uh, there's no animosity towards Joe D's son with you. Yeah. Because if you think about it, last year his son was being born on the first game of the year. Congratulations, Joe. I don't mean any disrespect by bringing him up, but... He just turned know. one uh, September 5th. Maybe we give him a little happy birthday. Happy belated Sunday. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Joe Jr.? I 
I think his name is Harold Jr. Harold. Harold. Harold Jr. Nice. Yeah. Well, they each their own. <laughs> Next subject. Say hello to my little friend. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to do some shots. In my show, I like to do shots with people. You know, we'll loosen some things up, talk sports, and relax. I'm so, not relaxed. I'm sure you are. Now, talk to me about the best team in the John Anthony division. Who do you like? Who do you see as the leaders? Someone that, that looks to be on top of the division. I don't know who is in the division. To be clear. And, 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 and the other commissioner? Yes, I take care of many aspects as commissioner. I have I have help. Right. You know, Mike Miller is technical support. If you have any questions regarding uh, any points or anything like that, I would contact Michael Joseph Camel. Four seven three six nine one eight. He's up all morning, all night. Call anytime. Yeah, he he said he's willing to help out anybody. Yeah, he's there's any technical help. problem. He's willing to help. Um, he probably almost had a heart attack yesterday when I'm in Dole. Uh, I'm sure he had some. Yeah. I'm sure he had some. Uh, Absolutely. Some nerves. Oh, I could only imagine. So, like, gentlemen, wouldn't want to be Kara. <laughs> I think a lot of people were nervous though yesterday. Yeah. This one tore the camera up, really? A lot of nerves yesterday. Really? You don't get any? But the Cowboys came through and uh, I'm a happy guy. Well listen, Patriots and the 49ers came through. We got three wins for Absolutely. the three teams. It was a great win. I wish uh, uh, another 49er faithful would have been here yesterday, but I don't know. I guess he had the shits or something. Who's that? Mr. Ross. Anyways. I heard he had some bad bowel movements. That's <laughs> definitely a possibility. Yeah. That's what I heard. Well, listen, this has only been week one. We're going to touch on a lot of other subjects throughout the season. I want to thank you for watching. And uh, if you ever want to be on, we're going to start filming every Sunday, every Sunday morning for the most part. Maybe do a little two hand touch in the yard, smoke some cigars, have a coffee in Sambuca with me. Feel free to contact me. Maybe you're down or something. I, I doubt that. Maybe with you. But <laughs> everybody's going to be here weekly, for, try to be here weekly for the most part. And, uh, Salute to a new season, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Great luck. Salute. Thank you for the sweater, by the way. My pleasure. And live from New York! <laughs> <laughs>